For its sentencing day for one of the individuals who started this neighborhood fight last July. That's right. For some reason, they decided to shoot fireworks at strangers. Brian Mastery takes us inside the courts where we hear from a suspect for the first time. Only six news is there to hear it. Brittany King told the judge she was humiliated by her actions last summer. And I'm very sorry to the victims involved in this situation. Uh, words can't take back well. You know what happened. There's no mystery to what happened last 4th of July since it was captured on security camera. Investigators say King, along with her boyfriend, her teenage son, and younger children, parked the car, armed with Roman candles, and stormed towards this driveway full of people. What started with a flurry of close-range fireworks aimed at strangers ended in a brawl. Jeff O'Brien had burn marks on his head, four broken ribs. His son ended up with a broken eye socket. In arguing for probation, Brittany King's attorney says she's suffered enough. She made a, a rash, split-second decision that obviously ended up being the wrong one. Um, judge, I, she's, she's paid a very, very heavy price. The 37-year-old lost her job, had to sell the house, and now has two felonies that will follow her the rest of her life. The suggestion that she's a mama bear and she's just there to protect her kids, I think flies in the face of the evidence. You don't bring small children to attack um, innocent people. The judge, who had seen the video of the attack and read the victim impact statements, ordered Brittany King to prison. Because a lesser sentence would depreciate the seriousness of the crime. The sentence, four to eight years in prison, which means she'll be out in two. One of the victims who was burned with the Roman candles called it a fair decision. Yeah, it's, it's something that's going to stay with you for quite a while. So you just basically carry on. Jeff O'Brien adds that he's not going to let them ruin his 4th of July traditions and plans to be back in the driveway this year. Brittany King's boyfriend and her son are both set to be sentenced for their roles. More serious charge of first degree assault. That happens in the coming weeks. Live in the newsroom, Brian Mastry, 6 News.